We're back. We got all of our pattern pieces marked and now we're ready to sew. First of all, you find your view letter in your instructions. And our view letter is B. So we will go to B and we will follow the directions. The first thing our directions say is to sew a narrow hem on the, on the sleeve edge. So what we did is, of course we have two sleeves, we, we, we um, pressed it with the iron so it would be easier to sew. And now I'm gonna start to sew my other sleeve that's already in my machine. Your narrow hem, you want it to be about a fourth of an inch. So you fold it one time a fourth of an inch, you press it, you fold it another fourth of an inch, and you press it. And then you start to sew. You want the edge of your hem lined up with the, the line of the presser foot. So now I'm going to start to sew. Okay, and once you get to the end of your hem, you lift up your presser foot and you cut the thread. Okay, I finished hemming that one, the first sleeve, so now I'm going to put my other sleeve in, put down my presser foot, make sure it's lined up so it doesn't get off the edge, and I'm gonna start to sew. If you go too fast with your machine, you will get off the edge and you will mess up. And before you try to pull out your material, you always want to make sure your needle's up. And then you lift your presser foot, then you pull your material, and then you cut the thread. Okay, now my sleeve is him. Here's the sleeve all him. And now I'm gonna show you how you get the back of the sleeves in the right place. As I told you earlier, you have to mark them. And here's two dots. So you wanna make sure you line the other thing up with two dots, right sides together. So your hem, so your seam will end up on the inside. You want to make sure the two dots line up with the two dots. And then you pin it. And then you sew it a fourth of an inch. So now I'm going to sew it and I'll be back to show you the rest. 